So guys, second part of the week, we're going to work same position, side control, but this time top. We're going to work a sequence on how step by step uh, kill the potential uh, defense that the person in the bottle can have in order to defend a side mission. Right? Our goal is to attack one of the most basic uh, attack from the uh, top side control. We can start thinking about Americana, okay? So close the arm of the party in a figure four. But then we're going to work a straight arm bar, okay, from there. So please, on the back. Before to start thinking about uh, the movements to get the submission lock, let's talk about the position from the top, okay? We never, once, whenever we are an advantage position as a top one, to use strength, okay? Most of the time we think about, uh, connect your hands and squeeze as much as you can. But it's wrong, okay? Whenever you're on top, forget about uh, work with the strength. What you want to do is to work with the weight of your body only, okay? And you want to have a, such a good position that you don't need to use the strength, okay? Whenever you need strength, whenever you use strength, and let's say that you're in this position for a while, okay? Let's say two minutes, and you're using strength. What happens if in a five minutes round, after the two minutes, the person on the bottom is able to escape? You waste a lot of energy. Okay, and you might have been already uh, for what happened next. Okay? So what you want to do is to save energy. Whenever you are in a top position, it's a moment wherever you have to take a break, breathing in and get ready for the next steps. Okay? But as you end up in a top position, never rush. Okay? Never, uh, if you want to work in submission, never go straight for the submission. Let's see how to technically uh, avoid any potential defense for the person from the bottom. Okay? So, one knee, I'm going to have to put close to the shoulder. Other knee, close to the hip. Because remember, if you keep your knees touching each other, close to each other, the level of the hips is high, you are not going to be heavy on top. Plus, it's going to be, you are going to be so light, the person on the bottom, if he starts to uh, bridge in that direction, he's going to have the better option, okay? So I spread my knees out. And if he has the elbows open, even better, I'm going to move my uh, knee underneath the arm. But let's keep like just like that, okay? Now I want to keep the middle of my chest to the middle of his chest, like a compass, okay? And what I like to do always, whenever I spread my knees out and I'm chest to chest, I like to keep a good breath in, and then uh, as soon as I contact chest to chest, I took out. I want to start to stick on top of my partner. One arm underneath the armpit, and I want to control his shoulder, palm up. Other arm, I want to control the neck but just be with your hand on the mat, okay? So forget about uh, squeeze, okay? Now, from here, how to start killing uh, uh, his arms and how to improve the position from here? What I want to do now, as you can see, person on the bottom has the arms already ready uh, to, to work. One of his, the most common defense for him will be a bridge and then a hip escape, okay? So what I want to do now, I want to use my lapel, I want to open the lapel and I want to trap his arm, just like that, okay? So right now, his arm is stuck. Even if he stretch the arm and goes to move to the other side, he's going to be stuck anyway, okay? But the most important thing, so I give it the chance to him to move the arm around my neck. That can change the position, okay? So if, if that change, you have to change a uh, submission or movements. But right now, he's stuck. Now, I'm going to use my right elbow as a point of base. What I need to do, I want to start to kill the other arm, okay? To don't give the chance to work hand-to-hand -hand connection to defend. So look, I want to move my left knee off the ground, and I want to move my hand slide and control his wrist. Now, I want to swing my left knee in on top of his biceps. So look, I lift his hand up, and I, I slide, just like that. So I want to move my, my knee inside and out. I want to kill his arm. Now, this is not a good position yet to attack his arm. I'm still, uh, like a, my body and his body is making like a cross yet. I want to attack almost for north-south position. So look, I want to switch the position of my legs. I want to bring my right shin on top of his biceps and I want to have a better base with my left leg. So look, I bring my shin in and then I move my uh, left foot. And I want to keep it right here, okay? I want to keep my knee off the ground. Now, I can focus, focus not only my arms, but my entire upper body against one part of his body, his arm, okay? The one piece of body of my partner I, I look for from the beginning. 
What I want to do now, I want to start sliding my hand right here, inside, palm face to me. I want to grab his, uh, his wrist. From here, I can make my connection, but most of the time, person on the bottom will stretch the arm, boom. Here I can lose the position, but uh, I'm still uh, in a very good, comfortable one. So from here, we'll be just control, and I just love a career and I can show control. What I like to do to have a better control, even if he has one arm only to defend, move, drive my forehead on top of my own head, okay? And I drive myself forward, right here. Now, his arm is very his elbow has already uh, locked, and I slip from the ground. So just doing this with one finger, look, he will tap, okay? There's already a good pressure on the elbow. You just need one finger, but I'm going to lock a figure four. So you are here, forehead, and just push forward. 